Diablo's corruption mars the face of heaven. This could be the end of all we know. Imperius, you cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Tyrion. And you, Nephilim, look below and see what your kind has wrought. have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. Diablo did this, not you. You did everything in your power to prevent this devastation. Long ago, my brethren and I voted to decide the fate of man. I cast the final vote that spared you from extinction. Now, humanity has birthed the Prime. Tyrael, you believed in us. You became one of us. Now you must live as a mortal, and surrender your fears to hope. Stay here and wallow in your misery if you like. But I'm going on. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. Dire tidings, indeed. Upon the destruction I have wrought, it will be the last thing you see. It's got to destroy the Nephilim. I do not fear you, Nephilim. You find only death in this eternal realm. captured by Raganoth, the Lord of Despair. I will free her, and then hope will be restored to the heavens. These are the guardians of hope. The Archangel Arya cannot be far. <laughs>
seems I cannot pass me. is free now, Angel. This corruption blocks my path. in war and combat, and has led the hosts of heaven to innumerable victories. With Malthael's absence, it is Imperius who now rules over the Angiris Council, seeking always to defend the high heavens from any foe. be bound by the chains of fate. With my blessing, you can now dispel Diablo's corruption. It hides the rifts which bring his cursed servants to this hallowed place. The rifts must be closed. We will not fail you. Diablo sought to bring despair down upon heaven, but I have destroyed his champion and restored hope. I thought this would bring Tyriel back to his senses, but he remains lost. Nevertheless, I must push on and eradicate Diablo's hellish portals.